Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, this video is going to be mercifully short, I think, because my videos have been a little long lately. Robert, the narrator, uh, Confessions of a Frustrated Game Master, had a great video. He has a little video series about uh, what his uh, favorite um, RPGs of all time, 10 favorite RPGs of all time. They're kind of interspersed with his other videos, so you have to kind of look for them. And this one was on 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. Now, this video isn't about that. It's just about something he said in that. And he talks about um, the linear fighter quadratic wizard problem. And if you're not familiar with that, at some point in Dungeons and Dragons and all the little subtypes, I suppose, there became a problem because, you know, fighters start out more powerful than wizards for the most part. And over time, the fighter progresses in abilities in a more linear fashion, hence the name. Whereas the, the wizard becomes more and more powerful to the point where they can really dominate the game. So... I'm just giving you my uh, experience on all this. In all of the, uh, and this is not an addition to war thing, but here we go. <laughs> in, all, in all my experience playing all these, you know, the older games, um, so we're talking about first edition and back, you know, uh, and all the basics, that sort of thing, I never experienced this. In all the OSR clones, I never experienced this. Throughout their entire career, wizards are kind of a glass cannon, you know. All characters are kind of glass cannons in a, in a certain manner. You know, sure, fighters you know have more hit points and whatnot. And well, this is a D&D video. Sorry, kids, if you didn't want to watch a D&D video, but it was a different era or different. You know, the system just was a little bit different. You know, and I've I've lost many a wizard in one round or, or a couple of rounds, you know, when they were in the wrong place. And I'll tell you what the the real deal is in my experience. It's this die right here. Scariest words you can ever hear. A roll for initiative and not just on the first round of combat because in a lot of these older games you rolled every single round so instead of just you know having your you know if you're, if you're not familiar with this rather than just having your place in initiative sometimes just the whole generally the whole idea was the whole party rolled somebody rolled for the party you, and you know depending on the system you, you, you know or how the game master you know uh, ran it you either declared your actions before you rolled or you know or right after but sometimes before you rolled so I tell you what, a lot of the wizards that uh, I saw go down in a round, they went down because they lost initiative. So you want to know what's, what a wizard killer is? You know, why there is no uh, quadratic problem? It's that bad boy right there. And when they roll a one, bad news. <laughs> bad news. So, so yeah, I mean, they just, you know, I never experienced that problem. And certainly, you know, as, as time goes on, their spells and abilities can really kind of dominate things and played intelligently. They can be a force to be reckoned with, but just glass cannons. You know, in general, in a lot of those older games, you know, lot, you know, life was a lot more deadly. So that's my answer to that conundrum or my experience, you know, with, with that is I just, I never experienced the linear fighter quadratic wizard, no matter, you know, where they went in the progression. You know, they, they were both equally likely to bite the dust. And, you know, depending on the, the outcome of this one die, you know, that could let him know. Oh, it's time for you to stop. There goes my alarm. Video's over.